is a buzz in the rarefied air of big-shouldered, horizon-chasing battle wagons. And the excitement stretches from the Bahamas to the Caribbean, from the offshore deep waters of stateside to the Atlantic and Pacific sides of South America and all points of the compass. And the reason? The Hatteras 60 GT Tournament Edition. For Power and Motor Yacht TV, I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. Welcome aboard. The Hatteras 60 GT combines the very best that this much admired builder has offered in the past with some high-tech building techniques and carefully planned and well thought out interior and exterior features that elevates this boat's stature even more than her highly recognizable logo already does. As you can clearly see, she has the kind of sleek, low-profile look found on most custom sportfish boats, including her black mask and her tumble-home hull aft. One of the premier innovations utilized by Hatteras in building the 60GT is her resin-infused hull. Prior to this hull, Hatteras has been infusing bulkheads, decks, and flat panels, which was a fairly easy process. Properly infusing a 60-foot hull, what with the verticals, the thick walls, and heavy laminates, well, that's where the Hatteras expertise comes in, as skilled control of pressure and resin flow to make sure the optimum strength-wise ratios of 50-50, that is 50% glass to 50% resin, can be achieved. But more on that later. Right now, and along with Alex McCarley, Hatteras' manager of product development and Captain Dave Fields and his crew, it's time to get this Hatteras 60 GT out to sea and put some fish on her decks. While our mate Ben gets his rigs ready, Alex takes some time to check out how his boat's hull is running and he looks for any difference in the high pressure jets coming from the chine or straight. With the current conditions, which on this day saw us at times faced by some big water just offshore of Grand Bahama Island, he is quite satisfied about how the whole bottom is working. Courtesy of an awesome power package that includes a pair of Caterpillar 1825 horsepower C32 Assert diesels, we are where we have to be in less than an hour and make ready to fish. Alex, who has been checking out things from the bridge, gets the honor of tussling with the first fish hooked on the Hatteras 60 GT's first fishing trip. We think it's Oahu, but because it's called fishing and not catching, for now, it's fish one, us zero. As Ben gets ready to set out the weighted wire line again in hopes of us getting another strike. And yes, a bit later, it's Alex up again. This time, and as we troll the edges of a reef in about 60 feet of water, He's on with a sizable black grouper that makes it to the deck. Then as Captain Dave gets us into position again and we get some new bait rigged, it's back in the water. And before you know it, this time it's my turn up as another grouper hits the deck, after which Alex successfully hooks up again. After releasing our last fish, Captain Dave gives us the signal that it's time to head for the barn as Ben tends to the line. The ride back, and despite the conditions, it's nice and easy, courtesy of a great running bottom that can deal with seas like these and more if necessary. And as long as we have the time, Alex and I take the opportunity to discuss the cockpit and bridge layout on the Hatteras 60 GT, starting with the undercombing air intakes for the engine room. Everything is hidden underneath the combing, and that's driven by forced air. We've got large, on this boat, I think 16 inch fans that are right on the engine room bulkhead. And they're pressure controlled, so there's no elect fancy electronics or anything. Right. It's, as the engines spool up, we got pressure sensors in the engine room that notice that, crank up the fans. Cancel. Oh yeah, they kick right in and start forced air induction. And uh, you see from the teak, we ran hard in a good following sea. Stays dry here, right. cleans up the whole side, and gives you a ton of space in the engine room. As our Hatteras GT enters the harbor of Old Bahama Bay, she shows off her head-turning looks, led by her generously flared bow 
an impressive pipe welder's full tower. And after getting the salt off, it's time to have a look inside. The interior of the Hatteras 60 GT series was also very carefully planned. Now, let's start right here on the aft bulkhead on the couch. Nice storage area here, storage area underneath each of the cushions. Beautiful table here, also very nice storage area. For here on the starboard side, we have the AC switching panel. Now, one of the real good features here in the interior are these countertops in the galley and in the dinette. They're cord for weight saving. Also, behind this beautiful cherry wood finish, there is also cord material for weight saving. Now, as we move into the galley, we have the under counter refrigerator freezer units, just four of them. Nice storage area here. Again, storage area underneath. Four burner electric stove top, stainless steel sink. Nice cabinetry here. And here is the microwave. Again, storage here. And right here, two nice deep storage drawers. Now, the Hatter 60 has a 3 2 layout. That's Three staterooms, two heads. Let's go down and check them out. On the way down, there are a pair of stowage cabinets right here. They go really deep on the starboard side and really deep on the port side. Now, as I said before, the Hatteras 60 is available with a 3-2 stateroom head configuration. It's also available with a 3-3 stateroom configuration. That means three heads, three staterooms. Right here is the crew quarters. Behind this door is the washer dryer. Over here to port is the master with an ensuite head. We have the day head here that shares with the four peak and the crew quarters. The four peak quarters can be had with an over under configuration or queen size center island berth. And if need be, an owner can request an optional 4 3 layout with four staterooms and three heads. Either way, throughout the entire living accommodations, the bulkheads feature these stylish wall treatments. Now, let's go out to the cockpit and into the engine room and see how Hatteras handled that space. Okay, now, getting into the engine room of the Hatteras 60 GT Tournament Series is a real pleasure. That's because there is so much room down here. Obviously, I've got a lot of headroom, but if you notice, I'm right here between the two CAT C32 engines. Plenty of room here to do any kind of work on the inboard side. Also, if necessary, it's very easy to get around to the outboard sides of the engine. Now, back here, there's a lot of room to get to the Onan gen set, which is tucked neatly under here. And on the port side, all the systems are readily accessible, including the air conditioning compressors and the Glen Denning Cable Master. Up here, before we get up here, Craftsman tool case right here, very convenient. And right forward on the bulkhead, all the electrical systems, the panels are neatly tucked right into the bulkheads. It's a really nice design. That same judicious use of space is also found here in the boat's 153 square foot mezzanine and cockpit area, 15 of which is for seating. Besides the ample working area for both anglers and mate, the mezzanine provides a fine view of all the action. As you would expect, stowage areas abound aboard the 60 GT. There are compartments beneath the steps, a shaved ice maker to starboard, to port there is a large bait freezer, and in the step below, another convenient compartment. There's a pair of insole fish boxes, one here to port and the other to starboard, and under this seat, a handy two-drawer cabinet. Now, let's have a look topsides. The clean and uncluttered centerline helm features port and starboard equipment cabinets. There's a drop-down overhead electronics cabinet, and the electric teaser reels are also found in the overhead. Both port and starboard bench seats offer rod stowage beneath and rounding out the bridge features is this large freezer compartment which is located just forward of the helm. 
But getting the 60 GT out on the water is where Hatteras really shows off what this formidable fishing machine can do. Powered by a pair of 1,800 horsepower Caterpillar C32 Assert diesels, and according to PMY's exclusive sea trial, this 60 GT hit a wide open throttle speed of 42.2 knots. At her fast cruise speed at 2,000 RPM, she clocked in at 36.2 knots, and with her tanks topped off at 1,800 gallons, her range is calculated at 360 nautical miles. And if that weren't impressive enough, at 1750 RPM, her speed was 32.2 knots with a 532 nautical mile range. In my book, those collective numbers make quite a statement given her 87,500 pound full load weight. Well, that was a good day fishing. We had some, caught some nice fish, and we had some nice water. My payback is that I've got to help clean up, but it's a pleasure, especially aboard the Hatteras 60 GT Tournament Edition. For Power Motor Yacht TV, I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power Motor Yacht Magazine, and I hope you enjoyed your time aboard this fine boat as much as I did showing you around. We'll see you next time.